hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is the first time coming across my channel here on youtube you are so welcome my name is kenzie and i'm a student blogger currently based in nigeria and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys some major tips i use in spicing up my boring life as far as i am concerned consider my life to be a boring life because aside studying the only thing i do again is studying <laughs> and then maybe when i have some leisure time i can just do like my youtube videos and i can edit it and then that's just it so my life actually is so much centered on the four walls of my school aside from the four walls of my school there is no other place i know so um on my list i wrote out things that i do to actually and make it a little bit fun so the first thing i do that i feel is very very important is actually self-love everybody talks about self-love self-love cannot be overemphasized. i mean you should always love yourself when you love yourself you love your own company and then you you start noticing that loving yourself alone comes with so much satisfaction it comes with so much fulfillment fulfillment <laughs> It comes with so much pride. I mean, when you know that you are you are just yourself, you are beautiful, you are handsome, you are just you are just perfect. I mean, even though we have flaws that we like want to change, that that aside, that doesn't have anything to do with soft love. When I remember that I am I am my I am my own biggest fan, it just makes me it just rejuvenates my whole spirit. It just makes me feel okay. In loving myself makes me want to be in my own company. I mean I can stay all by myself a whole day without wanting to talk to anybody and I will just feel perfect. Although that's not like very good, but then you should make yourself your own priority. Love yourself because if you don't love yourself, who will? Another thing I have on my list is reading a book. When I am bored, I try to want to read books. I am really not a book person, and because I am even in a because I'm even studying something that needs too much attention, I have plenty of things to do. But then on my leisures, I find things that i can read that are not actually exactly what i'm supposed to be learning like i don't read my anatomy i don't read, I don't read my foundation i don't read anything concerning school i just read something abstract and in reading i started reading a book that was published by a young nigerian nursing student oh she's no more a nursing student she graduated from nursing so she's like a real nurse so um her name is treasure and she recently launched a book there are many reasons why i actually liked that book for one it is written by somebody that is my age somebody that knows what i am facing somebody that is experiencing the same thing i am experiencing the pages i've read alone are so intriguing it, it talks about endurance it talks about perseverance it talks about being hardworking even in your teen it talks about not relying on your parents for everything it talks about independency it talks about consistency it talks about a whole lot of virtue that i feel people in their 20s and 30s should actually know about so i read that book when i'm less busy and it keeps me going it just gives me the the it just gives me the mindset that i am not alone in this like there are other people there are people that are going through worse situations than i am and they are still doing well so i have no excuse whatsoever not to just make it in life in fact that's just it so reading a new book can actually help you spice up your life because whenever you are bored and whenever you are feeling downcasted and you read that book that gives you joy you just find your inner spirits being elevated so i feel like everybody should actually practice that so the next point is very important and it is create a new playlist listening to music see the power of music can just not music is just everything days where i'm bored i listen to music this where I'm sad, I listen to music. This where I am happy, I listen to music. Music is just my go-to. And because of that, I have music on my phone that actually suits my mood. So when I'm happy, there are certain music I play. When I'm sad, there are certain music I play. When I'm frustrated, when I feel like the world is just not working out anymore. I mean, I mean, everything is just not working out. I mean, why, why, why? There are music I listen to. So I feel like every other person should actually do the same thing. Music is just, music is, music is the soul's food. When you want to feed your soul, 
you actually need to listen to music and in listening to music you have your choice of music you should know the kind of music that you would listen to that is actually going to brighten up your mood or that is actually going to make you feel sad because sometimes i i i stay like this and i just feel like oh my god i think i should cry there are music I listen to that will actually put me in the mood to cry. So please, make music a thing. Music should music should just be... Music is just it. Music is life. After food, it's music. The next thing I have on my list is make new friends. Ha! Make new friends is something that is so nice. Because each time you make new friends, you want to look forward to talking to your friend. You want to look forward to mingling with your friend new friends just brighten up your mood and they make you want to look forward to talking to them presently i have a new friend I've always known this friend but then recently we became very close and i just noticed that whenever i'm tired and i feel like oh i'm having a bad deal my new friend is the person i think about and when i talk to my new friend it makes me it allays my my anxiety it allays my stress it just makes me calm and relaxed but then if you are making new friends you need to be you need to be you need to know the kind of friend you're making in the sense that if you have a boyfriend you might not want to make a male friend <laughs> so you might not want to make a male friend because you don't want that your new friend to interfere in your relationship like in your relationship life likewise being a guy if you are a guy and you have a girlfriend you should be considerate about the kind of girlfriend you make so that that your friendship is not going to interfere in your relationship life it's just about you putting i mean knowing your priority if you if you if you if you cherish your friendship more than your relationship then you should know that you should turn your friendship into a relationship because why do you have a relationship and you have a friendship that is giving you more joy than your relationship <laughs> i don't know if you understand but i perfectly understand what i'm saying so make new friends it doesn't have to be friends of the opposite sex especially if you are maybe in a relationship and you don't want to hurt your relationship make friends that are the same gender as you vibe with them friends have a way of of brightening up your spirit because whenever you are bored for me whenever i am bored and i just think about my friends so i just go to my friends place like i mean they just look for there are always ways that we just keep ourselves happy and then that's just it making new friends is just it's just perfect the next thing i have on my list is to explore your city go out more sometimes we just stay in our comfort zone we just we are just so relaxed we're just so used to our comfort zone i'm not saying your comfort zone should not be like a very relaxable place or you should not enjoy the company of your comfort zone but then once in a while try to go out it brighten up your mood even though you don't have all the luxury it takes because sometimes when we when we see people going out we want to go out like like we compare our outing to the outing you don't have to go on vacation for you to be spiced up you don't have to go on those vacation and all those staycation you can just take a stroll around your vicinity go into nature breathing fresh hair just watch flowers blossom watch the bed sings watch water moves you know so that is what i do sometimes when i feel so down when i feel just so unmotivated i just take a stroll around the school compound i mean my school is very big we have like our school premises and then the hospital section so i just take a stroll around these areas and when i before i walk around these places trust me i'm going to see something that's going to brighten up my mood either i see somebody that is working on crunches or i see somebody that cannot even work well or i see somebody that has the head tied with plenty bandage when i just see all those things it just makes me start counting my blessings and thanking god for life because there are many people that are actually looking for this life and they're not seeing it next thing i do that spice up my life is actually going on social media um thank god for social media social media is actually something that i like very much if they take social media social if they take social hmm, if they take this social media thing away from life hey many of us will be actually bored social media is just a place i love to go to for fun instagram youtube facebook everywhere whatsapp twitter i just go there and i just see something that'll make me laugh thank god for our country nigeria in as much as things are hard there are people that still take out time to make us laugh by creating skits and just making comedy out of 
the situation that we are facing so i i appreciate all those people a lot because without them the depression would be times 12. so i go on social media every time when i wake up like this is that place first after i say my morning prayers actually is that place i go to for comfort and that place they don't disappoint that place when they disappoint me so i recommend social media 101 percent to you the next thing i do is to pick up new hobby when i am bored i just think of what can i do what can i do extra if it is makeup i just carry my makeup and i start drawing things on my face it brightens my mood and i go so i feel like if you are bored if you are if you are lost of idea about what to do to yourself create a new hobby look for something you can do and in creating a new hobby you can actually learn how to cook ha huh. i don't know about every other girl but for me cooking is like one thing i do for fun cooking makes me happy cooking is so nice i love to watch cooking videos because they are so therapeutic especially when the environment is all nice and is all cozy it's, 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 cooking is just something i love on my youtube channel like when i log on to youtube is the cooking videos i watch first before i even start watching any other vlogs or something or any vlog that has cooking inside i love it i love experimentation because i love eating or like eating 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 but because i love food i i don't know i just like cooking anything that has to do with cooking without baking without frying without cooking without steaming without boiling any cooking is just my hobby so if you're like me learn to cook if you are bored just go and try out a new recipe i can't wait to leave this place called school so that i will just have my small nice kitchen where i will be trying out all these all these instagram food i've been seeing cooking is just me and cooking we're just five and six next thing you should do if you are bored is to actually re redecorate your room if you have all the money if you have all the time if you have all the space and you feel your space is is old it's not looking as nice as it was in the beginning you know there there is there is always how our room is looking at the beginning it's always fine but then as time goes on we start getting tired of it we start being we start seeing the house finish we'll just see the house finish so when you are when you discover that you are actually getting to the point where you no longer fancy your room color or you no longer like the way things are arranged switch things up rearrange your room repent your room redecorate your room it's actually brightening up it like it actually brightens up your mood and keeps your your space and your mind in a better place to actually start processing what the day has to offer next thing i have on my list is for you to gift yourself ah gifting yourself is actually something you should learn to do although i don't really do like the normal gift like i'll buy something and i'll wrap it because why am i wrapping a gift that i'm giving to myself i already know what it is so what i do whenever i sit down and i am bored or whenever i just think of ah, oh well nothing's happening in my life again or i can just take myself out and buy myself food that i will not buy myself on a normal day you understand that's gifting yourself you can actually take yourself to a boutique and you buy yourself a very nice dress if you have money Take yourself to a cloth shop, a bag shop, buy yourself very nice gifts. Gift yourself something. Make yourself happy. Don't wait for somebody to actually put that smile on your face. You're responsible for your own happiness. So if you depend on somebody, it might not really work. So, and you might get disappointed. So just gift yourself any time, any day you have the opportunity to. It might be in form of food. Give yourself a nice food tray. Buy yourself a nice wine if you are a wine person. Buy yourself a car if you have money. Buy yourself a house. Buy yourself a land. I can't wait to spoil myself like that. But for now, the only thing I can just buy for myself is Fanta, Coke, Sprite, you know, all this chin chin mini me. It's still a gift though. So whatever your own gift is, make sure you give to yourself. So the last on my list is actually long. It says take a few moments to assess what really adds excitement to your life so you should actually sit down reflect ponder meditate assess all the things that you have in your life and think of that that particular thing that is actually making you excited is it a thing is it your phone is it your bed is it your test book or is it the person is it your mom is it your dad is it your sister is it your husband your wife your boyfriend your girlfriend look for that particular thing that adds excitement to your life and try to stick to that thing try to hold that thing tight to your heart 
if it is your phone hold your phone close to your heart because that's your happiness you don't want to lose your happiness if it's your mom hold your mom so close to your heart because that's your happiness and then try to make that person happy so that you too you're going to be happy and then if you are struggling to actually get hold of something that makes you happy like if you're struggling if you sit and you reflect and you and you think of what is what adds excitement to my life and you don't see anything that's adding excitement to your life you should actually add one thing that's going to add excitement to your life because it is very important you actually had if you actually have something that gives you joy okay if you don't want to if you don't want to place your excitement or maybe a person or a thing then you can make your own self your own excitement if your own self is your own excitement then try to look good for yourself like try to put yourself in a very comfortable position at all times make sure you are fine before you start thinking of whatever any other person is thinking so that is just my tips for what i do to spice up my very boring life my not so very boring boring life so guys that's going to be the end of this video i hope you did enjoy watching as much as i did enjoy filming this video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share this video to your family and to your friends and i'm going to see you guys in another of my video be sure to stay beautiful and bye